darn it, Mingo. I told you to leave the camera alone. Aw, this is so cute. I gotta say superb. Superb? <laughs> superb! Aw, oh, gee, Mango. You broke it. Wait, I think I got Whoa. it. There we go. Back online. Welcome. Hello. Mango. Hello there. Welcome to my apiary. Huh? Oh. Hey! You again. Here, Mingo, you stop that. Lucky slime, get it. Look at this dude. <laughs> Look at this precious mango. Who are you, cute slime you got there, by the way? Oh, that would be me. My name's Bennett. And as you already know, this is my sweet mango. She's my good helper. Well, most of the time, anyways. Rest in pieces, camera. Ah, uh, gross, Mango. You slobbered all over it. So no more licking the security drone. I think that Lucky Slime likes your hair. Lucky boy behind you, get him. Hmm? Hey! Ow! Thanks, Mango. Welcome. Mango, watch where you swing those vines. You could poke an eye out. Hmm. Oh my heart, what a cute little slime. What are your favorite things? Food. Also food. Not food. Yarn. Also human. And not food. Help! I have heard that slimes are extremely smart, but act dumb. That could be why Mango messed up the camera in the first place. They don't want humans to know. <laughs> Mango. <laughs> Is that my steak knife? Uh. Mango can't eat carrots. Tangles and Tabbies eat meat only. Clearly, you have not met Mango. Why does Mango look squarish? Many chaps. Many awkward chap. Hello, fellow rancher. I see you also have pink drones. Good taste. <laughs> Thank you. Currently, my security drone is pink. She helps keep an eye on the apiary and coop while I'm away. Is Mango much smaller than a normal Largo or is everything else bigger? She seems about average to me. At least for around here. Are Largos in your area a lot bigger? Mango seems like quite the troublemaker. Does Mango get along with other slimes? She gets along well with the others for the most part. You know, she is a bit of a troublemaker. Usually my security drone is there to catch her in the act. Wow. After all this time, I finally... <laughs> no. Are all Bumble Slimes the same color? If not, how many different colors can they have? Well, typically I'd say yes. But lately I've begun to notice slight variations. But only slight. So now I can't say for sure. This is something I've been meaning to look into. There's for certain a standard, at least. That's what my suit is based on. It helps me mingle around with them better. I've never heard of Bumble Slimes. Are they a recent slime? Where are you at right now? Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Our facility's pretty new. I forget not everyone knows it yet. I get a little carried away. <laughs> you see, this apiary was started by my late great-grandfather, Sir Barnaby Bumble. He was a great space pioneer who made many advancements in the world of slime science. His greatest work was the revival of a near-extinct species, come to be known as Bumble Slimes. This apiary is dedicated to the conservation of these little guys and my grandpa's work. Basically, I'm helping my father while he's back home on Earth. What toy do Bumble Slimes like the most? It's not a toy exactly, but they really seem to enjoy these empty honeypots. I'm not sure why they seem to gravitate towards an empty honeypot of all things, but they seem to prefer it over the other slime toys. I guess they just like the smell of leftover honey. 
Do you keep any other slimes other than mango and the bumble slimes? We do! As you guessed, honey slimes are a very important part of this apiary's ecosystem. The honey slimes are notable for their calming effect on all the nearby bumble slimes. They pair really well together. This helps prevent the bumble slimes from growing too agitated, which they're usually quite prone to do. Like, really, really prone to. <laughs> really, bumble slimes are quite the handful when they get agitated. So the honey slimes are a huge help to have around. But besides mango, those are really the two major slimes we keep around. Friends! Bee, Hunter, Dimple, Crystal, Copper, and me! 